Okay, this is the Ben and Glenn. Um, gosh, I forget the name of their pump. Um, anyway, this is the Ben and Glenn uh, airlift pump, and what it has is right up here. This inch and a half. It comes from the two inch into an inch and a half. This inch and a half comes right up to here in the side of the T. That way, water bubbles up over, air is released, and the water, straight water, comes in through here. Um, didn't really build the muffler, but uh, it's okay. Um, then down in here, well, that's the, the little uh, 45 lift. And all of the, I've, I've experimented with this pump so many ways trying to get that little 45 lift out of there and it doesn't work without it I mean it's amazing that little thing adds everything everything to the to the pump let me show it to you here this out of oh, geez, it's, heavy. it's full of water yeah I tell you what I can't do that with one hand um, so anyway let's run this test Okay, on one, two, three. So we started out with this right at the top. And it's the first guy right there. I'll move this bucket just a little bit here. Put you in there. Yep. That's what does it. I mean, look at this. Look at this huge gulps. So when this is done, I'll drag that whole thing out of there and I'll show you the little 45 um, rise. I mean, it's just a couple of inches, but it makes all the difference. So I did the same test with a um, simple airlift, and I put both with and without the uh, chuck valve. <laughs> Literally, it took 11 minutes to fill this bucket, so I'm not even going to show you that. It's just too painful to, to watch. Well, I call it right there. Okay, as promised, I'm going to drag that out of here, but I'm going to pause it, and I'll be right back. So here it is. This is the way it's set up. You come off the foot valve, or whatever you want to call it, the check valve down here. You rise up with these 45s. Put your air in here and then this went up to the to the standpipe. Um, the measurements were 30 inch 30 inches submerged, 24 inch uh, 24 inch rise above the water. So that's um, 54 inches Divide 24 inches by 54 inches to get your submersion ratio. Anyway, kudos to Ben and Glenn. You built a better air airlift pump. Yay!